Okay, this is my Rock Hobby Kubel Wagon uh, remote control car. Uh, it's got a lot of detail to it. I'll give you an example of the doors actually open and close uh, with the handle. So you move the handle down, door opens. Uh, same for the rear. So if you move the door handle down and open, uh, the seats actually have padding, which is very strange. Uh, the steering wheel actually turns with the uh, wheels when you turn the when you use the remote controller. Actually, that gray button right there on the dash that actually turns the car on and off, which is hilarious. So you literally just put a finger through the steering wheel, hit it on and off. Uh, also, it has like a storage compartment behind the seats. And in the back, of course, is where the engine is. And it's very detailed. Um, there it is. It actually moves uh, when you turn the thing on and off. So um, let me move this so you can see the light. So when the engine is moving, I mean, when your car is moving, the engine moves as well. I'll try and get this up here a little bit. So. It <laughs> got it in four-wheel drive. That's another thing. You can make this uh, four-wheel drive or two-wheel drive. I'm going to make it two-wheel drive right now by hitting this one button. You'll hear that button make noise. So now by lifting the back, you can see it turns with the electric motor. So, um, again, you can make it two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive by holding this button right here down. You'll hear a noise. So now it's a four-wheel drive. You also have low and high. So you got two speeds. Let me uh, put this on the floor and I'll show you the two speeds. Okay, so uh, low range, that's low range. High range, obviously a lot faster. Um, let's go outside and have some fun with it. It is uh, right now in four-wheel drive mode again. It's a little slippery outside, so this will be a good test for it. Um, bear with me. Oh, and you can turn the lights on and off. The lights are really nice on this thing, but we'll play with that later. Okay, so oh, we're in uh, four-wheel drive high, and uh, it's really a cool scale little car. It's got a neat look to it, right? So right now we're in four-wheel drive high. Just bombing right through the snow like nothing. It's a cool looking car, right? Anyway, uh, I could put it into low range and turn it around. It does have a very strange controller. Let me back this up. I don't know if I'm in four-wheel drive or not. Oh, I am. The controller, uh, not a huge fan uh, of the controller compared to a lot of other ones I've worked with. It, it's it's almost like line of sight, so I don't know if it's like a laser. Most of the stuff nowadays is actually, uh, you know, like Spectrum style. This one, not so much. I'm going to put her back in high. We got her stuck. So it definitely has differentials, which is part of the problem, as you can see. Give her a little nudge. So, obviously, really skinny little tires. So, um, as far as capabilities, not bad. I mean, you know, considering what the car is and what it comes stock with, I mean, it's not a real modified car. It's going through the snow awfully well. See if we can get it onto the rocks. No, nope. the snow gets too thick. So anyway, one of the things I've noticed with this car, uh, my complaints, if you would say, uh, the uh, the reverse is very weak on this. And again, that has to do with the radio way more than it does the car. It does have a reverse, and the reverse is programmable along with everything else in the car. But um, not really impressed with that. 
So as soon as you lose line of sight, like say I put the radio behind my phone, it, it loses communication with the car, which is not good. I'm gonna go back into low range here. See if I can get her to go on some rocks. It's very nice. I enjoy it, and uh, I think it's going to be a lot of fun. But you know, you got to take into consideration the capabilities, and it's fine. It's understandable. But it's a good-looking car, and it does work real well considering, and uh, kind of kind of a nice scale model.